Hello traders, FI Spicoletti here. Today is Wednesday, March 22nd, and this is my recap of the top viewed videos of the day, and the pound US dollar came in number two today, so we're going to do a quick recap from the daily down to the one hour time frame. So we had FOMC statement this afternoon, and it definitely did initially cause the dollar to go down and the pound to go up but I still think this is most likely going to be a way B a three-way pattern for the B and I think within the next couple days it's going to start working its way down to make that wave C of way B just like we did expect so let's head down to the four hour time frame on the four hour time frame I still see an uptrend here higher highs higher lows I still think this is a down uh, three wave down pattern for the wave B and a series of higher highs higher lows for the wave C the way this is pulling back right at this Fibonacci level does make me think this is going to end this wave C of B and like I said start making its way down to make that bigger wave C of wave B just like I was showing on the daily time frame we got the A we got three waves up for the B and then we'll go back down to make a wave C of B so let's head down to the one hour time frame one hour time frame, like I said, the way this thing is pulling back, if it was going to go up, it would just keep on going up. The way it's pulling back does make me think that it's just going to slowly make it its way down to continue that downtrend for that wave C. So really, I think it probably is going to be better to see a Strutzer break to really confirm that. But once we see that Strutzer break, I think it'll be pretty safe to start looking for sword entries for the continuation of this downtrend. So, don't forget to join my free Discord channel. The link for that is on the screen and in the description. Thanks, and happy trading.